The news and updates of Spider-Man No Way Home continue to roll in. Obviously, by far the biggest news surrounding No Way Home right now is the status of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, the two previous live-action iterations of Peter Parker himself. With the confirmation that Spider-Man No Way Home would in fact be dealing with the multiverse, with a lot of Raimi villains returning, including Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin and Alfred Molina as Doc Ock himself, the Spider-Men returning as well have been all but confirmed for the movie, especially because of the multiversal status of it. With that said, one of the Spider-Men men is still being tight-lipped. Andrew Garfield out of all of the Spider-Men has been the most tight-lipped keeping his comments and interviews jumbled at best, but very little information is actually given in any of them. This is what Andrew Garfield said in a recent interview. It's important for me to say on record that this is not something I'm aware I am involved in, but I know I'm not going to be able to say anything that will convince anyone. No matter what I say, I'm screwed. Either it's going to be really disappointing for people, or it's going to be really exciting. I think at this point, no matter what Andrew Garfield says, it's pretty clear that he is in fact involved in Spider-Man No Way Home. As rumors have been circulating for so long that he is in fact in the movie, not to mention that Sony actually took down a recent image of Andrew Garfield in his full Spider-Man getup, and that the image was claimed by Sony itself. If it were only the villains from the Raimi trilogy involved in No Way Home, it would make sense why Andrew Garfield may not be appearing as his iteration of Peter Parker. However, the first villain that was actually confirmed for Spider-Man No Way Home was Jamie Foxx's Electro, who is from an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie. It doesn't make any sense at all if they wanted to do a live-action version of Spider-Verse to not include two of the most iconic and really only live-action Spider-Men. So even though Andrew Garfield is denying it, which he has done before multiple, multiple times, it's pretty safe to say that he will in fact be in Spider-Man No Way Home. Anyway guys, I just wanted to keep you up to date on this little piece of news. How do you feel about this? Do you believe that Andrew Garfield is lying, and is he in fact in Spider-Man No Way Home? Or are we all in store for a really nasty surprise come this December? And are we all just getting way, way too excited? As always, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.